Hi, I'm Dr. Ellis Orozco, and thanks for listening to this video podcast. I hope you have a great weekend. Hi, and thanks for listening to this weekend devotional. Uh, this weekend, I wanted you to think a little bit about the idea of going into the wilderness. And I want you to consider thinking about finding your wilderness moments uh, this weekend. Now, in our culture, the wilderness experience tends to have a kind of a negative connotation. We think of it as being a difficult thing or a, a trial. And Jesus went into the wilderness to be tested by the devil. And so we think of it as being a, this kind of arduous thing and, and a difficult thing. But actually, that's not quite what it was like for the first century rabbis. In fact, the first century rabbis loved their wilderness experience. Luke tells us that Jesus often withdrew to lonely places uh, to be alone and to pray. And so Jesus longed for his wilderness experience. Now, the defining kind of wilderness experience in the Bible is the Old Testament wilderness experience of the Israelites when Moses leads them out of slavery from Egypt. Rabbi uh, Erwin Kula says that the true goal of the Exodus and the wilderness experience was not to get the Israelites out of Egypt, but to get Egypt out of the Israelites. And so the wilderness gets you ready for life. Jesus started his ministry in the wilderness uh, with John the Baptist, actually literally living in the wilderness. And then throughout his ministry, there were periods of time when he would go out into the wilderness regularly to be with God. And then at the very end of his life, uh, the religious elite were trying to kill him. And so he could no longer go into villages or towns or cities and had to live once again out in the wilderness. In some ways, Jesus' life comes full circle. It begins in the wilderness, and it ends again in the wilderness. Now, Jesus' classic uh, experience in the wilderness, of course, was the temptation scene. And he goes out into the wilderness after having heard at the baptism the voice of God saying, You are my son, I love you, and I'm proud of you. He goes out into the wilderness to be tested by the devil. And it's no coincidence that the devil tests him at the point of his identity. Who do you belong to? And what's your life's work? These are the two things that form your identity. Where do you come from? And where are you going? In other words, what is your story? Jesus went out into the wilderness to, to have his story tested. So what's your story? Who do you belong to? And what's your life's work? It's when you get away from the noise of the world and spend a little bit of time in the wilderness that you begin to discover that story. Once you know who you belong to and once you know what your life's work is, then you can live it with confidence and with strength and with courage. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.